Now the foundry is an interesting place, aside from it being a beehive of activity. It is also a, a place where there are 60 people there. They're all working in specialty. I have a piece always going. I always have something going. And I always have, now I always have a piece behind it. So that I'm never at a loss to be doing something. Oh, my mentors have been fabulous. Joseph Campbell was a friend, a very good friend for many years. He awakened in me the consciousness of world mythology and how all of it fit together. I became conscious of another guy who had a you know, Catholic upbringing and who went against everything, pissed everybody off, exposed, really exposed, if you were listening, uh, to all the religions of the world as beginning in the myth and probably remaining in a myth is a fact of the matter. I have come to the conclusion, after doing a series of 70 skulls of charismatic animals uh, with found objects and things that uh, presaged their demise, after doing a series of those, I'm done, and the angst is gone, and I'm convinced that the cosmos will win. I just finished the last in the series. Uh, it is a beluga sturgeon on a pile of caviar, and it's been fished to extinction. Skulls represent the death of something, whatever it is. I think skulls are the signposts on the road we are taking. So now I'm back to sacred objects. This is the traditional abstracted form of Shiva and Shakti. Now, Shiva is depicted as a phallus, and Shakti is depicted as a vagina or a yoni. So this lingam traditionally sits in this yoni. Okay, so that's the traditional form. This over here is a post-Gupta lingam with a single face of Shiva on it, dating from about the eighth century. And so, with that little bit of background, I have begun to turn the symbol around and uh, rather than Shiva's face on various traditional linga form I am putting the yoni on the lingam rather than Shiva's face. I'm very excited about it. Uh, I'm doing Lingam Yoni of the 21st century, it seems to me. So what I've decided to do is go from this first set 
and start doing lingo with chrome studs, cock rings, tattoos, and other paraphernalia of what's becoming mainstream USA. I think it's the last line in Thoreau's Walden Pond. And uh, it goes something like this. He had finished building his cabin and he was walking down the road and a man met him and said, philosopher, tell me the meaning of life. And Thoreau looked at him and said, find your work and do it. <laughs>